So prior to this procedure, what we need to do is purge the unit of any water and then secure power so we can begin the procedure. So the first step is to press the clean button. Okay, it'll take approximately one minute for the unit to completely drain until you get the low water light, and after that you can go ahead and secure power to the unit. Okay, now that we have the bolts out of the main housing, the whole assembly, the housing and the auger shaft, will come out of the evaporator. Now the edges of the auger are very short. You want to make sure that you're wearing safety gloves. Okay, now we need to remove the auger from the main housing. We're going to rotate it slightly to remove it from the knife edge. And then just pull that free. Okay, next we want to remove the shaft seal from the main housing and the auger shaft. So we'll just come and turn the shaft or the main housing around and punch this through. Now we want to get the seal off of the auger shaft. And for that I'm going to use a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Okay, this is our shaft seal and we're going to wet the rubber grommet with a little bit of hand soap so that it'll slip into the main housing easier. Set that in place in the housing. And then using the cardboard because we don't want to touch the sealing surface of the shaft, of the shaft seal with our fingers because we don't want to get oil on the sealing surface. We'll use this cardboard to press that in place. I'm also going to use a little hand soap and just wet the shaft of the auger so that it'll slide over there easier. Now with the auger part of the seal, we're going to use our soap and wet the inside rubber grommet of the seal. And you note there's the back side which is going to slide over the shaft and this will be the mating part to the seal on the main housing. And that concludes the shaft seal replacement. If you need help with the reassembly, click on the, up, on the link on the upper right hand side of the screen.